So in 2010, I had taken 108 children to the Kennedy Space Center space camps to teach them about the nuances of building a satellite rocket and everything. And that's where Space Kids was born. I was under the impression as a child, space was unreachable. Space was kept hidden and it was only for a niche community of people. So once I went to Kennedy Space Center, understood the nuances of building of satellite and rocketry and everything, I thought, why can't I disrupt this entire system? Get my Indian kids to build satellites. In 2015, we launched our first high altitude balloon. And today, 25 missions, when you take statistics, women in STEM, don't really go well is a myth that's been there for over years. Space still is unreachable for so many. So I want to really make it as accessible as possible to the last child of the country. I vividly recall that this was a regular work day. I was going through the daily newspaper and there was an article which said that Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, had launched a satellite called Azadi 2 Sat. Now, what was interesting about that article was this satellite was launched by 750 rural girl students from across India. And that got me excited. And I started digging deeper into this. And that's when I learned that there's an organization called Space Kids India that has empowered and enabled these students to launch a satellite. Space Kid was made up of girl children. Uh, it's a special thing. There were uh, 75 schools who uh, were selected to being a part of the satellite mission. So 150 girl children were selected and I'm also a part in the satellite mission, so I'm very proud. Building a satellite is uh, very different from other kind of technologies because you are building something and launching into space and if something goes wrong, you can't go and fix it. There are a lot of softwares that are required to interact with the satellite. We are still not funded and we are trying to put ends together. After the success of Azadi said, there was a lot of write-up in papers and everything. Siemens reached out and said, I think you're doing a commendable job. And Dr. Kaysen, I'd like to speak to you. That was the first initiative. And uh, I was so thrilled, so touched. And that interaction culminated into a good MOU with Siemens. And uh, now we use Siemens softwares in our mechanical structure designing and everything. Moon is our target now. Space Rickshaw is the next mission of uh, Space Kids India. I keep talking and reiterating that space needs to be accessible, accessible. If you need to study about Earth, we need to do a space travel. Rickshaw is a very nostalgic transportation of India. When people did not have motor cars, this kind of a transportation was very economical. Now you can fancy it by saying Uber how three or four people come together and they uh, go in a cab. We want space to be a, become affordable like that. The exciting thing is Space Kids India is planning to go to moon by 2026. And we have a lot of engineering challenges, thermal challenges, mechanical challenges, and uh, quality and reliability, tracking and everything. So I recently, you know, got a whole experience of like how the Solid Edge platform works. It's more than just a mechanical design platform, how different departments can work, work together, collaborate, and you can create a workflow. It's important for uh, Space Kids to get the design right up front with the help of multidisciplinary simulations, ensuring the interdependencies between these subsystems are uh, thoroughly tested and validated in a virtual environment. And the final uh, spacecraft is optimized for uh, weight, performance and durability. Dreaming big is everything, right? So, so far we have learned a lot of uh, technical difficulties, what we have uh, been uh, learning since our day one in the high altitude build missions, which has brought us to launch so far orbital satellites. So now we think we are ready to, you know, demonstrate all these technical uh, learnings that, you know, we can do going to the moon, we'll demonstrate our spacecraft and technical capabilities. So that's our mission we are working on. Space travel has always been very mystical and very mysterious. How do you demystify it? And that's exactly what organizations like Space Kids are trying to do. There are about 140 startups in the space field in India. So that just gives you the interest around this area. And again, today, if you look at space travel, 
people are saying it's it's going to cost about 250 to 400,000 dollars for a trip to the space. We believe organizations like Space Kids will bring it down to a few hundred dollars over time. Siemens is extremely proud to be associated in providing the technology to help them do that. Now, whether it's in designing, whether it's in simulation, whether it is in you know testing, all these aspects uh, that really help with that mission. My dream is I want to be a part of ISRO. Uh, it's my dream that space is full of magic and mystery. So I want to learn a lot of things from the space. I really like space because there are many stars, planets, and uh, I want to explore them. Uh, when we see the moon from the Earth, it uh, it's looks a bright star. And uh, we can go to the moon and see how is it. Means that's a feeling after going to moon. So I like moon and I want to step on the moon. Like Neil Armstrong? <laughs>